Did you ever notice how much of your life depends on our knowledge of quantum physics? No. Well, it does. For example, smartphones. Hey, give that back. Scientists are developing a touchscreen made of something called QTC, quantum tunneling composite. Inside the screen are millions of tiny, spiky particles. Can I please have my phone back? When you press down on the screen, the particles get close, and electrons make quantum leaps from one spike to the next. Give me back my phone! You got it. What about that fit stick? What about it? Quantum physics. Inside it are millions of tiny transistors, and each one has little metal gates that open and close built upon a semiconductor. When the gate closes up, electrons flow through, and when it opens, nothing goes through, so it's constantly either open, closed, open, closed, and that data stream is the basis of everything computers do. Where'd she go? Hey! Oh. You see that traffic light? Did you ever wonder what kind of science goes into something like that? No, but I get it, quantum physics. That's right! You see, this is a controller box, and inside this box are millions of tiny transistors, all with little tiny gates that open and close. I get it. Transistors, flowing electrons, I understand it. That's right! And much like the traffic light goes from red to green to red Do again, telling like cars to stop or go, or transistors control the flow of electrons. Me? You see, all those commands are encoded as ones and zeros, a long string of codes that can translate into usable information. How about that? I don't care. You don't care? How can you not care? I mean, all day long, ones and zeros are a fabric of our technological lives. You are right. You are right. And I'm very grateful to you for telling me. Oh, not to me. To quantum physics and for everything that quantum physics quantum has Quantum physics done. is everywhere. It's, it's amazing. Everywhere. It's in your TV. It's, I'm really it's in your very car. grateful. It's, it's goddamn amazing your... is what it is. You know what? That's right. I'm going to go into that store and I'm going to buy something. And I'm going to think about all the ways that quantum physics has helped me make that purchase. Really? Yes. That's great. She gets it. Man, quantum physics is so cool. Sorry, I know my wallet is in here somewhere. Ah. What the? I bet you don't know the amazing science that's happening right here, right now, every time I scan your purchases. I know, I know, I know. Transistors and electrons and... Light amplification of stimulated emission of radiation. What? Lasers. Without quantum physics, you wouldn't be able to stimulate atoms enough to have them release photons at a specific wavelength, which is what creates that unique laser beam you see. Can you just scan my stuff, please? I can, because of quantum physics. Without lasers, I wouldn't be able to do this. Without lasers, you wouldn't have that late 90s disc man you always carry around. How do you know about that? Without lasers, this cat <gasps> would miss out on its favorite toy. Here you go. Oh, Mr. Pickles. Here, that's for you. Oh, thank you. Now, will this be cash or credit? Oh, credit. I'm a little broke. <laughs> oh. What? What's so oh. funny? This strip. I know. Quantum physics. No. It's just a magnetic strip. There's nothing quantum about it. In fact, it's the same technology as this mixtape from 1988. So you're telling me that that mixtape would exist? Whether or not we'd ever discovered quantum physics? Sure. What about this wristwatch? Of course. And this MRI? Now that's quantum physics. You see, your body is made of water, which contains hydrogen. When we apply a magnetic field to your body, the hydrogen protons line up with the external... Quantum physics!